Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing Sandra who is Osnap Gonzo here on YouTube. She has a giveaway going on about the evolution of your scrapbooking or your um, crafting style. And I decided it'd be fun to do because it would be cool to look back and see how I evolved and how my style came to be. So I gathered some layouts for you guys to show you and this is actually the first ever layout I made. Um, like, I remember a friend telling me about scrapbooking, and I was like, no, nah, you know, that sounds stupid, it's for old ladies. I wasn't into it. And then, I don't know, I just started, and this is how I started, like, very simple, um, multiple pictures per page, no decorations, just the title. And, like, see, I have one sticker and pictures. And this is how I started. I wanted to document my trip to, um, Punta Cana with my friends. And, yeah, so this one I actually like. I like the layout, like, how the pictures, um make a square and I, I just layered some flowers together. Super freaking simple, like nothing special about this. So yeah, um, those are my basic, basic first ever layouts. Then I actually, when I started discovering the YouTube community and how amazing scrapbooking is, I wanted to make things more fancy. And this is my first ever fancy layout. Let's call it like that. And um, this, I only made three layouts in my life, 12 by 12 layouts. It's not my thing. I don't like doing 12 by 12 layouts. And this is the first one. So this is just like an old tag I made. And then behind it, there's like information about me. And I just like, like some qualities are like about myself. And yeah, I obviously didn't have a color picture. So I printed in black and white with my printer. I want to do like this layering look with this stamp I have. And that didn't really turn out too great. Um, so this is pretty freaking simple. And yeah. Then my second ever layout I've ever done was for Patty's giveaway. She used to be known as Colored Sprinkle Girl here on YouTube. And she had a giveaway and this was my entry to it. And that was the second layout I've ever done. I actually followed a sketch for this. I do not remember where I got it, but I remember following a sketch. And it took me forever to do this page. All my layouts take me forever. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I whatever. This is what it looks like. Nothing special. And my ever my third um, official, I'd say, layout <laughs> is this one. I actually liked how this turned out. It took me a long time as well, but I have my title and just some layering with some pictures. I mean, some embellishments and then a cluster on top. I really do like how this turned out, um, but I would never do it again because it, it just takes me way too long and it's not my thing, so yeah. Um, after making these cheesy layouts, I turned into uh, smash booking and that is basically where my passion started was all through smash books and my first ever smash book layout was this one here um, and it was just like trying to get healthier and just use some cutouts from magazines and stuff and yeah I really like how this one it looks fun it's busy um, so that's pretty much my style I guess I like to have busy a lot of things covering space I don't like white space showing so you can see that kind of here, and I did some doodling, so I really like how this one turned out. Um, and then, I also have some other pages in my other scrap, my other smash book that um, I really like. So, just an example. I like layering, so I would say like my style involves a lot of layering and just trying to create dimension with objects and like um, washi tape and die cuts and stuff like that. And then, let me just go quickly to another one. I like this layout as well. Um, in this case, there's, there is white space, but it's not that bad, and because there's lines on it, it kind of removes that all white space for me. I really like how this one turned out. Again, layering, lots of layering, and even layering in sequins and stuff like that. I just think it's super fun, so I really like how this one turned out. Then on this side, these are just some adjectives that um, I wanted to come up with to describe me. And yeah, so this is how this page looks like. I also really like this page. This is like to document when I first got my license. I really love how this turned out. Um, I hope I can get it all in frame. There's like hidden journaling over here, which I love to do on my Smashbook pages. And um, yeah, I really like how this turned out. I love the soft colors and I just really like it. <laughs> so you can see lots of layering happening, a lot of different um, stickers and embellishments and stuff. This is another example of one of my favorite layouts. This is super busy, super fun and, and colorful. I love bright colors, and you see this a lot more in my art journaling. So this is where I kind of try to bring my art journaling 
to my scrapbooking um, with you know distress stains and bright colors and stuff and stamps because um, in my in my art journal I just love using bright colors when I make mixed media pages or whatever it just it's, it's me I love bright vibrant colors so this is what I wanted to do on this page that is my smash book those of you who follow me regularly on my YouTube channel you know that I like using creepier images and um, you know stamp boutique images and Oxford factory and just quirky fun different stuff so um i don't really have anything to show you right now of that because i tend to make stuff and give it away i make everything i don't just focus on one thing so i make cards i make atcs i make you know smash book pages so i'm kind of all over the place so i can't really show you the progression of my style right now but of like using the creepier stuff but if you guys follow my channel you know what i mean and you know like you've seen some of that before and I'm just gonna show really quickly my mini album because <laughs> this is another, this is like the recent thing I made. So um, I know it's hard for you to see and compare with you know my layouts that I made to see how my style has evolved. But um, the one thing you do notice is that I like to work in smaller surfaces. So I completely got rid of the 12 by 12. I started using Smashbooks, which is just like what eight by nine by. I don't even know the dimensions of a smash book, but you know, the page is really small. And then I do mini albums a lot now. And when I first started, I remember dissing mini albums. I'm like, those look like a waste of time. I'm never gonna make a mini album. And I love them now. Like that is completely different. Um, I just love making mini albums now. I think it's a lot of fun. And I think it's my love for smaller spaces. So um, yeah, I remember when I first started crafting, I also made cards. So I started with uh, those 12 by 12 layouts, I didn't like them. I focused a lot on cards and made a lot of cards using Lawn Fawn. I might actually link my Flickr page um, to the bottom of this video. So if you guys want to check out my previous, like, early, early, on, early cards that I've ever made, um, I'll link that down below. So I like smaller spaces and that's where I like to, I tend to gravitate to. And yeah. Um, so just like, just to show you examples. Again, even though this is such a small space, I layered a lot. Like, you can tell... Um, I love layering, I love using paper, and as my embellishments, like the background, I like to use paper and even like make my own and stuff like that. So, um, like, like here, there's a, this page is super busy, there's a paper here, a paper here, another paper up here, like a little card, and then I add a doily, and then I added um, some stickers, like cupcake stickers, then I added a stamped... Uh, happy birthday, then I added um, a bunch of embellishments, so stickers here, washi tape on the corners, another sticker here, and then some gems, and then I actually, to to minimize the white space in the back, I used some spray mists, like, my delusions black and purple. So I really like to make things busy and have, like, your eye go from top to bottom to left to right, I think that's super fun. I have one more thing to show. I just made this. This is for Crafton Mama ML's uh, first giveaway, which I my last video was about this. But I decided to show this one more time for this one because for this video because a lot of people are telling me this is so you. As soon as I saw it, like the colors, it just is so you. And I think that's a good example because a lot of people who are not following me, they can tell that I'm different in a way. So. I loved hearing that people are saying this is so you like I can def this is definitely something Serena did I think that's super fun and it's kind of an example to show that yeah you know my style is different and I am in a way unique when I craft and stuff like that so I think um, I think that's what I wanted to come across and show you guys so thanks for watching and thanks for doing this Sandra I think it's such an amazing um, challenge because people get to people get to learn a bit more about themselves and maybe realize stuff they never realized before like um, just going back and looking at what they first ever started doing and now what they do and what they like to do and what they focus on like for me small spaces I learned that the hard way I learned by making those 12 by 12 layouts and hating it and stressing out like honestly 12 by 12 layouts would give me so much anxiety because it's just so big and there's so much space and I didn't know how to cover everything and you guys can see I like everything to be covered so I think from early on I noticed that big spaces are not for me so I think I'm gonna end it here um, I did learn a little bit more about myself through this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope that um, you guys play along with Sandra's uh, challenge she has three days left so there's uh, you have until Saturday to play along thanks for watching and um, yeah have a great one bye